I was taught by my professors that dietary fiber is good to eat because it actually helps you, they call it roughage. And it actually, when you actually get it down into your colon, it kind of scrapes along your colon and, you know, and keeps your bowels moving. So you're regular and you don't get constipated. And people used to say, well, if your poop doesn't move and it just sits there like a toxic dump, that's actually what causes colon cancer. Well, this was, you know, years ago when I was in medical school, the entire textbook has ripped up and thrown out. And a new way of thinking about dietary fiber is that this fiber, so when we eat something with dietary fiber, let me give you an example. It could be a celery stalk, but I'll tell you something that doesn't seem very fibrousy, which is a pear. Pear doesn't seem like it has a lot of fiber, but it's got six grams of dietary fiber, a lot of dietary fiber. And when we eat a pear, we're absorbing our, you know, sort of an upper gut, all the polyphenols and the vitamins and all these great bioactives. And then what the trickle down is to the lower part of our gut is the dietary fiber. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor, researcher, and president and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He is also a New York Times bestselling author of Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself, and Eat to Beat Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Do not disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or seen in this video. The number of human cells we are made out of is about 40 trillion human cells. And the number of gut bacteria that lives inside us is 39 trillion. So we're almost one-to-one -one with our bacteria. We got to feed those guys. And we provide them room and board, which is what we're feeding them. And they pay us back for that by releasing these signals and hormones that control our metabolism. They help us use glucose better so we have enough energy and we don't develop pre-diabetes and active diabetes. They help us heal our wounds faster. So when we were cut or we have surgery, we heal up faster. They help us um, control the amount of body fat that we have. Cancer remains one of the most challenging health conditions with researchers and doctors continually seeking ways to prevent and manage it. While treatments have advanced, experts are also focusing on how diet can play a crucial role in supporting cancer prevention and overall health. One promising area of research highlights the impact of high fiber foods on cancer risk and digestive health. In this video, you'll learn about four high fiber foods Dr. Lee recommends to fight cancer and beat disease. Buckwheat. Lectins are kind of the super glue that holds our tissues together. If you didn't have lectins, you'd literally fall apart. Okay. Like you would, you would just like fall up, like literally you'd fall apart. So lectins are actually who we, part of who we are. And there are hundreds of different kinds of lectins. And yeah, there are a few of them that are in fact poisonous. All right. But the whole, there's a whole mythology. Okay. About lectins and their toxicity that once again, I'm sure somebody well intentioned started to put together the facts and then it started to snowball into essentially an urban legend that got spread everywhere. And we know when you talk about lots of people being aware of lectins, what they're aware of, they're aware of the narrative behind lectins, they're, but they're not, they're not really um, yet informed on the science behind lectins because most people don't know that without lectins, they fall apart. Dr. Lee recommends including buckwheat in your diet as a powerful way to fight cancer and improve digestion. Despite its name, buckwheat isn't actually related to wheat, and it's not a grain either. It's called a pseudo-cereal, which means it's similar to grains, but naturally gluten-free, making it a great choice for people with gluten sensitivities. You can usually find buckwheat in the grocery store near rice and other dried grains, or sometimes next to oats and breakfast cereals. Buckwheat seeds, known as groats, are packed with a special compound called rutin. Rutin has several health benefits, including helping the body burn fat more effectively. It activates something called brown fat, which burns energy and generates heat, boosting your metabolism. 
Routine also helps your gut by encouraging the growth of good bacteria that produce anti-inflammatory compounds, which help reduce inflammation and keep your digestion smooth. Studies have shown that adding buckwheat to your meals can help lower inflammation linked to obesity and reduce cholesterol levels, both of which are important for maintaining a healthy heart and reducing cancer risk. The fiber in buckwheat also helps your digestive system stay healthy by moving waste out of your body and preventing harmful substances from lingering in your intestines, which can lower the risk of developing colon cancer. According to a study published in the journal Molecules, researchers looked into the cancer-fighting abilities of tartary buckwheat, focusing on its natural compounds called flavonoids. These flavonoids were extracted from buckwheat seeds during their germination to see how they affected a type of human stomach cancer cell. The scientists conducted tests to find out how well these extracts could stop the cancer cells from growing, especially after treating the seeds with an electric field to enhance their properties. The results showed that the extract taken on the third day of germination was the most effective, reducing the cancer cell survival rate to just 47.3%. This was much lower than the other extracts tested, making this particular extract, called BWTF3, very powerful in preventing cancer cell growth. The researchers also found that the different effects of the extracts were likely due to varying amounts of two important flavonoids, rutin and quercetin. As the seeds germinated, the amount of rutin increased significantly, while quercetin levels remained fairly stable. The study suggested that BWTF3 might work against cancer cells by triggering a process called apoptosis, which is a way for the body to get rid of unhealthy cells. Buckwheat has a mild, nutty flavor that gets even better when you toast it. You can cook it like rice by simmering it in water or broth, or add it to salads and soups for a nutritious boost. In Japan, roasted buckwheat is used to make a tea called soba cha, and is also used to make thin noodles called soba. In Eastern Europe, roasted buckwheat is used to prepare a fluffy, rice-like dish called kasha. By adding buckwheat to your diet, you can enjoy its benefits, such as improved digestion, a boosted metabolism, and a natural defense against cancer. Apples Drive I love apples. You've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps a doctor away? Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. Now. What's in an apple that's good for you? Chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin. That's what that does. That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat. Again, good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's not to like about this? Go for an apple a day. Lee recommends eating apples because they're not just tasty. They're also packed with health benefits that can help fight cancer and support overall well-being. Apples are rich in fiber, which helps keep your digestive system healthy and can lower your risk of certain cancers, especially colon cancer. Apples are loaded with antioxidants and polyphenols, like quercetin and caffeic acid. These substances help protect your cells from damage caused by harmful molecules called free radicals. This protection can reduce inflammation and lower cancer risk. Two major studies, the EPIC study, and the NIHAARP Diet and Health Study found impressive results related to apples. Eating one to two apples per day was linked to a 10% lower risk of bladder cancer, a 20% lower risk of colon cancer, and an 18% lower risk of lung cancer. This means that including apples in your diet can significantly reduce your risk of these cancers. According to a review in the Journal of Food and Drug Analysis, Apples can provide important health benefits, especially in lowering the risk of cancer. One key study mentioned in the review found that people who ate at least one apple a day had a 35% lower chance of developing colorectal cancer. For those who consumed more than one apple daily, the risk was reduced even further, suggesting that apples could be a valuable part of a cancer-preventive diet. 
the review highlights certain compounds in apples, such as flavonoids and polyphenols, that are believed to contribute to these health benefits. For instance, floritin, a compound found in apple peels, has been shown to block a specific glucose transporter that cancer cells use to grow. This action can slow down tumor growth in liver cancer models. Additionally, fluoretin can enhance the effectiveness of cancer treatments like paclitaxel, which is commonly used in chemotherapy. The review also points out that the antioxidant properties of apple polyphenols help protect the body from oxidative stress, a condition linked to various chronic diseases, including cancer. With more than 7,500 varieties of apples grown worldwide, it can be hard to know which ones are best for your health. Research has shown that the apple varieties with the highest levels of cancer-fighting compounds are Granny Smith, Red Delicious, and Renette. These types are particularly good at boosting your health because of their strong antioxidants. Another great way to get the benefits of apples is through apple cider. Choose cloudy apple cider over clear apple juice because it has more of the beneficial compounds. A study from the Mayo Clinic involving over 35,000 people found that drinking two servings of apple cider or juice each month was associated with a 35% reduced risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a type of cancer. For a healthy diet, the World Health Organization recommends consuming a minimum of five portions, or 400 grams, of fruits and vegetables each day, with at least two of those portions being fruits. This guideline is based on extensive research indicating that a diet rich in fruits and vegetables can significantly reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including various types of cancer. If you found value in this video so far and appreciate the many hours of effort that went into creating it, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment to support the channel. White beans. Lentils are a staple food in Middle Eastern uh, cuisine and in Mediterranean uh, uh, cuisines. Healthy Mediterranean cuisines where longevity is actually uh, is, is really uh, optimized. And lentils are great. Actually, they come in different colors. Uh, if you haven't seen different colored lentils, they come in brown, they come in green, they come in yellow, they come in uh, red. And black lentils, really, really dramatic. This is a really inexpensive way to get protein. You can buy lentils dried in the middle aisle of the grocery store. Lentil is packed with protein. You can make a lentil stew. In fact, one tablespoon of lentils has one gram of protein and one cup then gives you 18 grams of protein. Lentils are high in dietary fiber. Again, good for gut health. And by the way, not only is gut health, good gut health lowering inflammation, good gut health is good for brain health as well. Look, you want to live long. You want to also have a good noggin. You want to have clarity, good cognition, good memory, good executive skills. You want to be able to enjoy your life. And so this is another reason why you want to actually not only get good protein, you want to actually eat foods that protect your gut health uh, as well. And um, lentils also been shown to lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. Look, that's the number one killer in uh, developed countries. So if you want to live long, you want to uh, avoid having uh, fatal cardiovascular events. Uh, lentils are a good choice to get those proteins and to actually lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. Now, lentils also have uh, polyphenols like procyanidins and flavanols. And the reason these are important is that they've got antioxidant property. So as we age, you know, we get oxidative stress that actually contributes to wrinkly skin, uh, other forms of aging. Uh, so antioxidant protection protects our DNA. And some of these polyphenols in lentils also have neuroprotective properties. Brain health, gut health, brain health, good protein, good muscle. Lentils are one of my favorites. Dr. Lee recommends adding white beans to your diet because they offer a wide range of health benefits, including cancer-fighting properties. Commonly known as navy beans, these beans have been a staple in American diets since the 1800s. They are featured in popular dishes like Boston baked beans and Senate bean soup, which has been served in the U.S. Senate cafeteria since the early 20th century. White beans are packed with fiber, which helps keep your digestive system healthy and can lower the risk of colorectal cancer. They also contain powerful antioxidants, such as flavonoids and phenolic acids, that protect your cells from damage and help reduce inflammation. Additionally, White beans have compounds that can prevent the formation of new blood vessels that tumors need to grow and spread. A study done in foods showed that eating common beans, like white beans, can significantly lower cancer risk.
the research looked at how beans might help prevent cancer and explored how they work in the body to provide these benefits. The study examined how beans affect overall health factors, such as blood sugar levels and inflammation, which are known to influence cancer. It also looked at how beans impact cell processes, particularly a signaling network called MTOR, which controls cell growth and metabolism. Problems with this network are linked to various cancers, including breast cancer. In tests with rats that were chemically induced to develop breast cancer, those fed beans had 62% fewer tumors compared to those that didn't eat beans. This decrease was associated with more cancer cell death, which is a good sign. The study also found that eating beans changed certain important proteins and pathways related to cell growth and metabolism. Advanced techniques were used to analyze how beans affect the body's metabolism. It was found that rats eating beans had different metabolic profiles compared to those not eating beans, indicating that beans influence how the body processes various substances related to cancer risk. The study suggests that white beans and other common beans can lower cancer risk by affecting cell growth, promoting the death of cancer cells, and regulating metabolism. These beans are also beneficial for heart health. They are low in fat and high in soluble fiber, which helps lower cholesterol levels and improve cardiovascular health. They provide important nutrients like iron, zinc, magnesium, and folate, making them especially valuable for those on a vegetarian diet. You can find white beans either dried or canned. Canned beans, which are stored in a small amount of water with salt, can last for two to three years and still retain their nutritional value. Dried beans, when kept in a cool environment, can last indefinitely. Some dried beans, found by archaeologists in Israel, were over 10,000 years old. Recent research supports the benefits of white beans beyond their nutritional content. A study from the University of Toronto involved giving participants five cups of canned navy beans each week for one month. The results showed a significant reduction in waist size, one inch for women, and three quarters of an inch for men. Since waist circumference is a good indicator of body fat and is linked to overall health and mortality risk, this finding highlights another reason to include white beans in your diet, flax seeds. When we feed our gut properly, it pays us back with all these benefits in all different aspects of our health. And when our gut is unhealthy and damaged, all right, what happens is that bad bacteria overgrow good bacteria. The bad bacteria don't, don't give us all those benefits. And then what happens is that all those functions start to fall apart. Our metabolism goes haywire. Our blood sugars rise. We get prediabetes. Our wounds don't heal as well. Our immune system goes down. And then mentally, we start getting more agitated as well. You know, it's interesting. Dysbiosis, which is a problem of our gut bacteria, has been connected to depression, schizophrenia, even autism. And so this connection between our gut and our brain is so profound that it really represents one of the new next frontiers of medical research. Dr. Lee recommends adding flax seeds to your diet because they provide a range of health benefits, particularly for cancer prevention and heart health. Flax seeds are rich in essential nutrients, including fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, and antioxidants. One of the main benefits of flax seeds comes from their high content of lignans, specifically a type called SDG. Lignans are special compounds found in seeds like flax seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds. Research has shown that SDG can greatly benefit heart health. In a study at the University of Connecticut Health Center, lab rats were fed a high cholesterol diet and then given a heart attack. Some of these rats also ate SDG. The results showed that the rats with SDG had twice as much of a growth factors, 33% more new blood vessels in their hearts, and their hearts pumped blood 22% more efficiently compared to the rats without SDG. Additionally, the damaged heart tissue in these rats was 20% smaller. This suggests that SDG helps create new blood vessels and aids in heart recovery. Flaxseed also has anti-cancer benefits. A review in Frontiers in Nutrition titled, Examined the Potential Health Benefits of Flaxseed, Especially in Relation to Breast Cancer. The review highlights various studies that explore how flaxseed and its components, such as lignans and omega-3 fatty acids, may affect cancer risk and progression. 
One significant aspect of the research involved monitoring breast cancer patients over 6 to 10 years to determine if lignans, which are natural compounds found in flaxseed, could help extend their lives. The findings showed that patients with higher levels of lignans in their diet experienced a notable reduction in mortality rates, with an overall decrease of approximately 40% to 53%, and a 33% to 70% reduction, specifically related to breast cancer. This protective effect was particularly pronounced in postmenopausal women, suggesting that lignans might be especially beneficial for them. Additionally, the review discusses research from the University of Toronto, which demonstrated strong anti-cancer properties of ground flaxseed. In these studies, mice with tumors were fed a diet including flaxseed, and the results were promising. Tumor growth in mice consuming a diet with 10% flaxseed was reduced by 45% compared to those on a regular diet. Furthermore, diets containing 5% to 10% flaxseed inhibited the growth of both estrogen receptor positive and estrogen receptor negative breast cancer cells in mice and reduce the spread of certain types of breast tumors. The review underscores the importance of nutrition in cancer treatment, noting that healthy dietary choices can help minimize treatment complications and improve overall quality of life. Flaxseed, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, lignans, and fiber, may play a beneficial role in preventing and managing cancer. Flaxseeds, and other seeds with SDG are also beneficial because they are high in dietary fiber. This fiber helps lower cholesterol levels and supports a healthy gut, which is good for overall health. Other seeds like sesame, sunflower, pumpkin, and chia also contain lignans that help regulate metabolism. For example, a lignin in sesame seeds called sesaminol helps increase the burning of fat and can prevent weight gain. Another lignin found in pumpkin and flax seeds, called Sequoi Solarisi Resinol, helps stop new fat cells from forming and improves the function of fat cells in the body.